Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing the Telespital community map called Rebirth by Moose Moose. And, uh, I've been working on interruption because the other puzzles are quite challenging. And this one, I think I have an idea. I think the trick is that we don't want this beam to be here connected to a connector on this side. I think what we want to do instead is somehow find a way to power it from this connector so that we control the beam and we can get rid of it while we're on that side. I'm not entirely sure how the trick is gonna work, but I think what we'll want to do is perhaps... ...do something where we put this one down and quickly pick up the other one. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not it. Oh, but we could bootstrap it. Hey! Yeah, we can bootstrap it. Why didn't I think to do that before? Okay, so then the next question is, we still need two connectors on that side, right? We need to be able to access... Oh, I, I'm, I'm done! <laughs> okay. That was entirely easier than I anticipated. Why didn't I do that a long time ago? That was actually... Yeah, that's actually a really cool puzzle, I really like that. Awesome. We did it! Woo! Alright. Now we gotta get out. <laughs> so yeah, just to... just to replicate that again, because I really like that solution a lot... Why didn't I open the other one? Oh, because, uh, we're gonna do it this way anyway. We take this guy, we use it as our new source. And then we can remove this one. Take these guys inside. And we don't really need that anymore. And we get a blue laser. Yep, that's actually really simple. I don't know why it took me so long to get that. Alright, let's head somewhere else. I might... might do some editing together, because, uh, these puzzles are quite challenging. I still have to resolve Radio Relay. I still have to resolve Entrance to Nothing. I still have to resolve Hole in the Wall, which is all the way... over... Uh... where is it? Over here. Hold the wall. I still have to resolve this one. And then I also have to solve the, the two remaining puzzles that I haven't solved yet, which is, uh... Let's see, which is this one. Oh, that didn't show me the name. It's, uh, Restraint and Contemplation. Oh, hey, look at that! See, this one... When you go in, it does remove your... Your from the top left. I don't know why some puzzles don't do that. And then the other one we still have to solve is Light in the Attic, which is this one here. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm still confused about that one. So if we head all the way out, and let's go look at all our signs so far, look at our progress. We have all the stars, so I really don't know what the, uh, the extra jammer is for in entrance to nothing. Not extra jammer, extra connector. Yeah, we have- we have both of the stars. So entrance to nothing has an extra connector that I'm not sure what it's for. Because we never used it. So that's... Let's see, this is... I think that's Hole in the Wall, and this is Light in the Attic. No, no, that- no, sorry, uh... No, not Hole in the Wall. This is Restraint and Contemplation, and this is Light in the Attic. We're done here. This puzzle isn't actually needed for anything, because it's, uh, the one that mysteriously broke when the- the author is trying to publish the map. I don't actually know if the one in the Star World is solvable or not, it may or may not be. But yeah, we- we got all the stars. The one- the thing is, we have to get the star from Radio Relay again, because we got that one through cheating as well. So, technically... technically we aren't done with that either. But, yeah, we have- we have some work to do. So let's see, I think I will just cut here, and we'll go on to when I finish the next solution or whatever. These puzzles are hard, man, they take a long time to figure out. They're also really good puzzles.
Alright, so, we're in Radio Relay now, right? And, uh, I think I figured out the solution to get the sigil. Not the star, but I do know how to get the sigil now, at least, so... Let's begin by doing that. Let's get the box out, first of all, because the box is essential to the solution. And I was really close in my other attempts, I don't know why I gave up so easily. Yeah, we get this out, we put the box... Ooh, right about... here-ish. That's good. And then what we want to do... is we will bootstrap inside of here. Do that. We take this all the way around. And, uh, oh yeah, this guy is not needed anymore. Actually, no, he is, because we need to get a, a connector inside of the, uh, this area here. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So, uh, what we want to do is connect that, that, and that, like this. And what'll happen is the gate, because we put it on the box, this will not go high enough up to interrupt the beam. So we take this away. And it'll always interrupt itself, but it won't go high enough to interrupt the actual beam that unlocks that. So now that's just permanently open, and we have two free connectors. So what we can do is do blue-blue like that, and then head inside. A really simple solution. Not sure why it took me forever to figure it out. And then... Hey, I did it! I did it. Okay, so that is the solution. We get the sigil here, and then we run over here, and we get the star up here. Say, we did it! We solved Radio Relay! Moose Moose, are you happy? I did it. I did it without breaking it. That is pretty cool. Figured it out. It took me a lot of experimentation. I was doing all kinds of weird stuff. And, uh, I finally realized, oh yeah, this, this, uh, we can do this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that before, that was... I made that entirely too complicated all the other times I tried it. Alright, so... Radio Relay has been solved. Did we, did we break any other puzzles in here? I don't think so. Let's see, this puzzle over here... What do we do here? Oh, Fueled of Mine? Oh yeah, I did wanna... I did want to do this one again, because Moose Moose thinks that I broke it, but I don't think I did. So let's see, we'll put the fan on already. Actually, we can just jam it in front of the fan, that's probably easier, right? Eh, close enough. We jam that. We are not going to be using this jammer in here at all. That jammer is going to be unused. So we blow the bot. And let's see. Take this. Oh, come on. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, that's an issue. Let's try this again, and this time I will remove the fan once the robot has been blown, because, you know, we don't need the robot being blown anymore once he's been blown. Here we go, that's close enough. Take the fan, blow the robot. The robot sits there, P take this off. Let's see, we take this. And... We'll do that. Maybe this is what Moose Moose was talking about, not being able to do by blocking the robot like this. Actually, I think that's exactly what he was talking about. Alright, fair enough. But that's the solution I used, I think. And if that's not intended, then I- I really don't know what the intended way is. Whatever. <laughs> it works, and it- and it- it's- it fits within, uh, the, what you would normally expect from Talos where robots bounce off of boxes, so... I think... It's not intentional on his behalf, but it's definitely not breaking the game by any means, so I'm gonna take it. 
Let's see, we did that correctly. We did that. What about this over here? Alright, this is multiple puzzles. We did the harmonic series, which Max von Stretton really liked. And let's see, we did Meet Me Halfway, which was quite a brain teaser. And then we did this one, which is a pretty cool trust exercise. And then I think that's that's everything in here, right? Should be. Yeah, okay. So let's head out and see if we can't solve the other stuff that we broke. Like the the ones in uh yeah, this one right here. This one. Did you see that? Did you see the cut? That was a seamless cut. You didn't see anything. You, you didn't even hear anything. That cut was seamless. So we still have to figure out entrance to nothing, but I might forego it because I would have solved it if the game worked properly, but the game does not work properly. So Moose Moose had to implement a different solution. We still haven't used this connector for anything, and this is the connector you get for solving the puzzle. This, this gate come is up until you solve it. Once you get the sigil, the gate comes down, so we're not supposed to use it for the puzzle. And, and uh, we, but we have both stars in this area, so there's no reason for that connector to be there, to my knowledge. Unless, it was, unless I was supposed to use it to get uh, this star up here, which... No, I, I don't see how that would work, because there's this elevation change here. Alright, so let's see... The puzzle we broke... was... over here. Hole in the wall. Oh, come on, game. You chose now to crash? Really? Right when I figured it out, and I was about to show everybody... I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, we're back in the game. Hopefully it does not crash again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I wanted to show... Was so, like, if you place this here, this wall is too high for you to pick it up, right? You cannot pick it up from this height. But I discovered that, you know, our little... When we're riding on our clone, we're obviously lower than the wall, and we can actually pick this up. And that is the key. So, what has to happen is that we want, uh... We want to be able to walk through... After we stop recording, we want to be able to walk through here. So that means we have to start recording in this state as well, because if we... If we have something here that our clone takes off, the clone can go through when we, when we play, but then we won't be able to go through ourselves, and that's a big problem. So we have to start in this state when we start recording. So basically, I'll just put this here. Our clone will try to carry us over here, but the problem is this. I think what we want to do, actually... What happens if our clone... I want to find out about this. What happens here, because, uh... I think we would fall off, but the connector might not. Or, we could... Could we put the... The platform on the clone? Because the platform is, is definitely going to be short enough... But can we put the platform on the clone's platform? That is a good question. Can we even pick it up? I think we should figure that out right now. Let's see. And then it'll be like, here-ish, right? Okay, let's- let's- let's see if we can- we can do that or not. We'll, we'll find out right now, in fact. Like, yeah, we can pick up the connector, the broken connector. It does not look like we can pick that up in any meaningful way. Nope, definitely not. Okay, so... Let's, uh, instead... Let's try and go with the connector and see if the connector is short enough to fit underneath here. So this might be it. So we do this. Give ourselves time to pick up the, uh, the connector here. And then we have to get back up on the wall there. That's the clone. You know, we put the connector on the clone. The clone walks through here. Puts that there. Picks it back up. 
and then takes us... Actually, we, we can go around this way and pick ourselves up from this side just to make sure there's no issues. And this should be victory at this point. I hope. Because this should be open, if, if uh, assuming the connector fell onto the button properly anyway. Okay, let's go see if that would work at all. It has any chance of happening at all. Okay. Whew. Let's see if this works. Go clone go. Hey, look at that! It might actually work. Will it have fallen onto the button correctly? I think- I think it worked. I think we did it. I think we solved hole in the wall. Yep, we definitely did it. Yes! We did it! We solved it the correct way. At least I'm pretty sure that's the correct way. I don't see any other- I don't see any other way to do it. Cool puzzle! I really like that a lot. That is actually really clever. That took me a long time to figure out as well. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. I think that's... No, that's not all the puzzles we broke. We still have to resolve uh... Entrance to Nothing. I still have no idea how to do Entrance to Nothing. No idea. I tried... I tried it a bunch... And Moose Moose said that I would have solved it if the Talos Principle worked properly, but it does not work properly with the right click, so he had to change the puzzle. Blah 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 blah. I'm broken record at this point. This episode is already late. It is already past the time that I am supposed to have uploaded this episode. So I think... I think I'm just gonna end it here. If this episode's short, I don't care. Whatever. We're going to end it off here, and I will see you all in the next episode. I really appreciate you watching, and you can show your appreciation by clicking one of the two buttons below the video. Goodbye!